Welcome to Panther Town Valley Bog Virtual Tour. This is the Wetland Treasures Program fifth year anniversary of celebrating wetlands across North and South Carolina. We enthusiastically present to you highlights of the Panther Town Valley Bog with a virtual tour. Panther Town Valley Bog, located in Jackson County in western North Carolina, is a 15 acre southern Appalachian bog, one of the rarest of wetland habitats in the southeastern United States. The bog, highlighted in light green on your screen, is located in the 6,300-acre Panthertown Valley backcountry area within the greater Nantahala National Forest. A series of wetlands, swamp forest bog complexes, seeps, and spray cliffs co-occur with this bog in this unique high-elevation valley in the headwaters of the Tuckasegee River. Flanked on all sides by steep, high-elevation granitic domes rising several hundreds of feet above the large flat valley, the landscape has been denoted as the Yosemite of the East. As a result of both the unique lowlands and upland habitats, species diversity is outstanding. Panthertown Creek and its tributaries wind through the bog and backcountry area with sandy white flats and scenic waterfalls such as Greenland Falls pictured here. The Panthertown Bog is shown here. It is characterized by groundwater-driven hydrology, low nutrient inputs, and herbaceous vegetation. Prior land use history has shaped this landscape immensely. In the early 1900s, logging camps housing over 100 people occurred across the valley. Intense wildfires resulted from the logging slash during the 1930s, helping to maintain this open bog as well as the granitic dome surrounding it. In the mid-1960s, many of the less steep forests were harvested again, resulting in the current configuration of mid-age forests and off-site white pine plantations surrounding the bog. Given the unique landscape with its unusual broad valley, the area was proposed to be dammed for hydroelectric generation in the 1970s and 80s. However, a unique partnership with Duke Power, the Nature Conservancy, and the United States Forest Service eventually resulted in purchase and transfer of the land into public ownership. Sphagnum moss, as seen here with carnivorous sundew plants interspersed, dominates the open bog and is characteristic of the Southern Appalachian bog community type. In addition, there are also scattered amounts of shrubs located in the bog, such as silky willow, red chokeberry, hardhack, and bushy St. John's wort throughout. Cinnamon fern and various rushes occur on tussocks among a diversity of grasses and sedges. Various wetland herbs such as turtleheads, cowbane, monkey flower, and Canada burnet also occur within the bog. Bird species noted in the bog include the great blue heron, eastern screech owl, golden-winged warbler, ruffed grouse, and many more migratory species stopping over on their way. Mountain dusky salamanders are common, and American beavers are also active in the bog. Timber rattlesnakes, like the one shown here, and their dens have been located within Panthertown Bog, as well as the rare Baltimore checkerspot butterfly. The valley has also been designated as part of the Panthertown Bonus Defeat Bear Sanctuary by the North Carolina Wildlife Resource Commission. Though protected from development, Panthertown Bog still faces management challenges. Recreational activity, including hiking, biking, fishing, and horseback riding, is common across the many trails within the valley, resulting in a high risk of introduction and spread of invasive plant species. In addition, 
as experienced with many other southern Appalachian bogs, woody plant invasion is resulting in closure of the open portions of the bog. Panthertown Valley can be accessed year-round from either the eastern entrance near Cold Mountain Gap or the western edge near Salt Rock Gap. Access directions and trail maps at the Hike Panther Town link or U.S. Forest Service Panther Town link shown on this page. Learn more about the Panther Town Valley bog and current management strategies by viewing an interview and tour with Matt Bushman, the former botanist for the region, under the Learn More heading. Finally, access the Carolina Wetlands Association webpage above to learn more about the other wetland treasure sites from this year and years past as well as all our organization is doing to advocate for wetlands across the Carolinas. Thank you.